Hey everyone, this is Anthony from the Console Gaming Crew, and we could not be happier to announce that we are now part of the Boss Rush Podcast Network and are featured on BossRushGames.com. BossRushGames.com is a place where you can find up-to-date news articles, blogs, and podcasts about video games. In addition to that, there is a growing collection of podcasts in not just the gaming community, but other communities as well. We are honored to be part of such a great network of podcasters, so please stop by and give everyone a listen. Thank you so much and enjoy the show. Yo, crew members, what it be? Yeah, y'all, it's just me. It's your boy, Wes. Um, Andy had a little bit of something to handle. Anthony had some technical difficulties. So it is just yours truly giving you the free and the new for February of 2022. Hey, I made that rhyme. Ain't that fun? All right. So the way we're basically going to work, well, the way I'm going to work it today is I'm going to start with Xbox, then go to PlayStation, then go to new games. And then from there, I will just go ahead and just send it all out. It's going to be a nice short episode. I'm not going to have news because I have nobody to bounce off of with anything that I say. Trust me, it is very weird. I am sitting here staring at a screen. I have nobody looking back at me. This is an awkward situation, but we do what we do for the crew. And that's how it runs. So let's get it started with the new games for Xbox for February 2022. It is time to announce the February games with gold lineup on the Xbox One, Xbox Series S and X. Join in an epic adventure in Broken Sword 5, The Serpent's Curse, and speed run to a tight soundtrack in Aerial Knights Never Yield. And for our classic lineup via backup compatibility, use your wits with the water. Sorry. Use your wits and the water to fight your enemies in Hydrophobia and test your st- strategic skills in Band of bugs so broken sword 5 the serpent's curse play as american george stobert as and sassy french journalist nico collard on a trail of on the trail of a stolen painting and a murderous conspiracy a conspiracy with roots older than the written word leading to the start of another epic broken sword adventure I'm actually curious on how this one goes. This one is going to be going from February 1st to the 28th. You're going to be able to have this all month long. Um, The next one is actually something that I have played before. It is such an awesome indie game. It is a, it is made, uh, this, it is just made beautifully. The soundtrack is perfect. Just everything about it is just on point. And this is Aerial Knights Never Yield. I have this for the Switch personally. So take on a role of Wally, a mysterious character always in motion as you jump run slide or dash to the soundtrack of Dename sama with the average run run time of an action movie this is a game built for both speed runners and casual gamers alike i can tell you from experience that this game is on absolute point there is no other way to put it uh the game is going to be running from february 16th to march 15th yeah that weird middle of the month to middle of the month thing but what what you gonna do Next one up is Hydrophobia. Use the engineering skills of the heroine Kate to fight back against terrorists who have taken control of her floating city. Featuring fast-paced action and breathtaking visuals, unleash the power of the water itself to wipe out your enemy in the third-person survival adventure game. I did watch the trailer for this one. It looked pretty nuts. Um, definitely has that old-school, like, OG uh, Resident Evil type feel. Uh, I believe this one came out for the 360 back in the day. So definitely going to be something that should be pretty fun to mess with. And the last one for Games for Gold is Band of Bugs. Now, play as your avatar uh, and fight against spider, bugs, and even your friends in spider hunter mode. Band of Bugs is a fast is fast playing, accessible game for fans of tactic strategy genre that puts you into the game. Now, let me go ahead and reiterate these. So you have Broken Sword 5, The Serpent's Curse. That's going to be from February 1st to the 28th. Uh, Aerial Knights Never Yield is going to be from February 16th to March 15th. Hydrophobia is going to be from February 1st to the 15th. And Band of Bugs is going to be from February 16th to the 28th. So, 
Started off with Xbox, now let's give you PlayStation. Let quick reflexes, dice rolls, or skillful management shape your fate with February's PlayStation Plus lineup. Now, for this one, we have EA Sports UFC 4, Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon Keep, a Wonderland's one-shot adventure, and Planet Coaster Console Edition. Let's first start off with EA Sports UFC 4. No matter how or where you play, EA Sports UFC 4 puts you in the center of every fight. Develop and customize your character through a unified progression system across all modes. Go from unknown amateur to UFC superstar in the new career, mo uh, new career mode or challenge the world in new blitz battles or online world championships to become the undisputed champ. Fluid clinch to strike combinations offer more responsive and authentic stand-up gameplay while overhaul takedown and ground mechanics deliver more control for those key phases in the fight now andy did talk about this game on uh episodes prior um he he really enjoyed it he enjoyed how they did change the you know how they did overhaul the um you mean the takedown mechanic and stuff like that so that should be a good one uh next up is tiny tina's assault on dragon keep a Wonderland's one-shot adventure. And this is for the PS4, and UFC 4 is also for the PS4. Smash skeletons, defeat dragons, and battle giant golems in this first in this first Wonderland's adventure inspired by Borderlands. Experience the acclaimed 2013 quest that started it all in a standalone campaign jam-packed with fantasy, fun, and mountains of magical loot. Pick from six unique vault hunters, each with their own signature ability and powerful builds, and jump into chaotic fantasy battles in solo or co-op. Use souped-up firearms to blast your way through treacherous forests, spooky crypts, and fearsome fortresses. Be warned, though, your journey can change in an instant on account of Tina's gleefully chaotic whims. This is something that I am absolutely going to mess with. I will download this day one. Because, like I said before, I am, I am hopeful when it comes down to Wonderlands. So, and but look, man, I'm a I'm a straight up Borderlands nut, so I have I have no issue going ahead and jumping in. The last one we have for PlayStation is Planet Coaster Console Edition, and this is for the PS5. Surprise and delight crowds as you build the coaster park of your dreams and manage a truly living world with unparalleled attention to detail. Whatever your skill level, bring your ideas to life. Take advantage of blueprints to quickly place over 700 pre-made objects, including coasters, facilities, and scenery. Build from the ground up with detailed piece-by-piece -piece construction or transform the ground itself with terrain-altering tools. Running your park is just as easy. Guests react in real time as you set prices, place scenery, and install excitement exciting new attractions keep them entertained so attendance figures and profits skyrocket looking for inspiration discover the frontier workshop and harness the world's best designs in your expanding empire download coasters scenery buildings and entire parks or grow a following by uploading your own creations from stunning fireworks displays to sprawling cruise ships there is no limit to the creativity you will have from and I will go ahead and reiterate this. You will have from Tuesday, February 1st to Monday, February 28th to download these games from PlayStation. Again, it is EA Sports UFC 4, Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon Keep, A Wonderland's One-Shot Adventure, and Planet Coaster Console Edition. And now it is time to give you the new games for February 2022 for february 1st you have life is strange remastered collection this is going to be for the playstation and xbox february 3rd you have sherlock holmes crimes and punishments coming out for the switch february 4th dying light 2 stay human for the playstation and xbox february 8th we have ali ali world for playstation xbox and switch and one of the big ones sifu is coming out for playstation if you have early access, you will be able to get this on the 6th, but for everybody else, it will be the 8th. February 9th, you have Action Arcade Wrestling for the Switch and Backbone for the Switch.
February 10th has a good lineup here. You have Crossfire X for Xbox, Edge of Eternity for PlayStation and Xbox, Kingdom Hearts 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue for the Switch, Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 and 2.5 Remix for the Switch, and Kingdom Hearts 3 for the Switch. February 15th, we have Dynasty Warrior 9 Empires for the PlayStation, Xbox, and Switch. February 17th, we have Assassin's Creed, the Enzio Collection coming out for the Switch, and the King of Fighters 15 for PlayStation and Xbox. February 18th, probably the biggest game in February. I know I will be buying it day one. I know a bunch of other people who will do the same. Horizon Forbidden West coming out for the PlayStation. Again, February 18th. On February 22nd, we have Destiny 2, The Witch Queen, coming out for PlayStation and Xbox. It's the DLC. Monarch is going to be coming out for the PlayStation and Switch. And Soul Cresta is going to be for the PlayStation and Switch. February 23rd, we have Edge of Eternity for the Switch. And February 24th, we have Martha is Dead for the PlayStation and Xbox. February 25th, we have Elden Ring coming out for the PlayStation and Xbox and Grid Legends coming out for the PlayStation and Xbox. I know Elden Ring is also a major one that a lot of people are looking forward to. Me personally, I'm just looking more forward to Horizon. Now, let's also talk about the games that are going to be coming to Game Pass that we know of right now. I am recording this on the 29th of January. We might get more information a little bit when we get a little bit deeper into February about other games, but right now we have two. We have Dreamscaper and Besiege Console. So, Dreamscaper, which is going to be February 3rd, is going to be coming out day one on Game Pass, is a roguelike game split into two distinct experiences. At night, Players dream to and have to fight back against enemies in a fantastical nightmare world. During the day, they live their normal lives, exploring the city and building relationships with other characters in the game that in turn give them bonuses when they're in a dream world. Like I said, for this one, it is February 3rd for Dreamscaper. And the next one is Besiege Console. It is the console version of Besiege set to launch as an Xbox console exclusive on February 10th. In it, players build siege engines to fight off enemies, destroy castles, and solve puzzles. As of right now, Dreamscaper and Besiege are two of the only games currently confirmed to be coming out for the Game Pass in February 2022, like I said earlier. So, we, if we do get more, I am guaranteed that we will go ahead and give you more information. But that is the new and the free for February. Like I said, the boys are not with me today, so I am just going to cut this Make it nice and sweet for y'all, the short one. Let me tell you, where you can connect with the console gaming crew. You can go to our website, which is consolegamingcrew.com, or you can hit us up by email at consolegamingcrew at gmail.com. Our Twitter is at consolecrew. That is probably where you can find us the easiest and fastest. We will answer the fastest. Our YouTube and Instagram are both console gaming crew. Facebook is nothing. And if you want to go ahead and find other content creators, other podcasts that have to do with everything else in the gamer world, cosplay world, doesn't matter. You can go to Boss Rush Network at BossRushGames.com. You already heard the um, the read in the even before the episode started. So trust me, it's where you want to be. You can also find our Twitch, which is CGC Podcast. I have my co-op Monday night games. Right now, we are running Alien Elite Fire Team, which has been a lot of fun. And then you also have our Fun Friday, which is the stream to where we uh, we play Chell, NHL 22, and we just keep on trying to just celly, celebrate and snipe, baby. That's what we do. It's, it's how we do, man. Got to get them shutty stews. Um, yeah, so that is everything that I have for everybody. I just want to go ahead and just say, if you like what we do, anywhere you listen to us, give us a review, throw us five stars, write something nice about us. Trust me, we do read it. We do see it. We are appreciative of it. So until next time, I will go ahead and say, with the solo run that I have just done, please stay safe, wash your hands. Mask up if you need to. And as always, game on, y'all. Be good. Peace.